Here we have a bit of a gem, it's a 2001 BMW 735i automatic in green. Car's got some lovely spec on it and it's not in bad condition at all for its age. Starting with the offside front tyre, tread depth there, easily good 5 to 6 millimetres, so plenty of tread on the offside front uh, tyre. Around the alloy, there's some very light curb in there, as you can see, it is light. The rest of the alloy is in nice condition, so just a very small refurb required. Looking down at the offside of the bodywork, there's three small dents in the driver's door. Bit of a dink on the rear door, but no damage. Offside front arch is in nice condition, no sign of any rust appearing. Only a little bit of lack of peel on the arch there. Paintwork looks really nice. Uh, you've got a couple of scratches on the mirror there that will require some, uh, some polish. Looking on at the rear uh, driver's door, sorry. Again, just needs a bit of a mop and polish, just some light scratches. Some little nicks here in the paint will require some touch-ins. Door edge looks pretty clean, but apart from that, looks really tidy. Both the sills are in nice condition. You've got your sunroof on top. Rear passenger door. Again, just a couple of light like, scratches, need a polish. Uh, scratches are on the rear arch here. That'll require some paint. They are a little bit deep. Um, rear quarter, that all looks fine. Nothing at all to report there. And the rear tire is easily a good six millimeters of tread there. Looks fairly new. Uh, the rear alloy, lovely condition, looks really nice, no curbing or any scuff marks at all. And moving towards the rear end of the vehicle. Looking on the back here, you get rear parking sensors. Also a tow bar on the back. One or two scratches will need a bit of a polish. But apart from that, there's no sign of any damage at all to the rear end of the vehicle. Again, looks very tidy. A little bit of rust appearing on the boot there. And on the boot there as well. Again, very small amounts though. Inside the... Uh, the boot itself. As you can see inside the boot, you've got your spare wheel. Nice condition. Really nice size boot as well, but that's all well. You can't open the boot from the uh, the button here though, it won't open, so you do have to use the key to open the boot. Near side rear tire, again you're looking at about five to six millimeters of tread. And the rear alloy, nice condition. There's no sign of any curbing or any scuff marks at all to that alloy either. Uh, we've got some deep scratches here on the arch that again will need some paint. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, now you have got quite a few small dinks and dents on both the doors. So quite a few small dinks and dents on both doors. Uh, rear door edge is fine, front door edge is fine. You've got some chips here on the paintwork of the front passenger door. But as you can see loads of little dinks and dents here. And again, touch-ins will be required for each one as well. So look like some car park dinks. Uh, but apart from that, just a bit of a polish. Drive, uh, passenger mirror is fine. Front arch, that looks nice. No sign of any rust there. And again, a good five to six mil there on the front tyre. Looking on the front alloy, you can see some minor little scuff marks around the alloy. Nothing too serious. Again, a little bit of curb in there. So potential refurb required. You've got front parking sensors as well. Bit of a scuff mark here on the front bumper. You see the fog lights are fine. Front parking sensors, again, a bit of a scuff on the plastic there. Yeah, I've got a couple of stone chips around the front end. Uh, there's a crack there on the bottom fog light, as well as a scuff mark there. It requires some smart, and again, some stone chips around the bonnet. That's the exterior of the car, if we take a look inside. As you can see inside, you've got the full beige leather interior, and it looks really nice for its age. Uh, it's clearly been taken care of, this car, within the ownership that it's had, but really nice condition to the leather, no damage. Back of the seats are all in nice condition as well. Again, everything looks really tidy inside. Even the door panels, I mean, there's a bit of a chip there on one of the doors, but apart from that, it looks all right. On your driver's seat, it's a little bit wearing there on the headrest, a little bit of discoloration to the leather, but again, it's gonna happen with a car this old. Uh, electric seats as well, they're working fine. A little bit of scratches and marks there. Front passenger seat, again, nice condition. There's no damage at all. You've got your telephone in there as well, BMW telephone. Uh, nice wood trim around the dash. A couple of minor little scratches, but a really nice condition for its age. Again, steering wheel looks well, cruise control, all electric as well. Uh, really nice. Memory seats there as well. No issue at all starting the car, starts perfectly fine. We do only have one key with the vehicle, so just one key with the car. Uh, mileage 97,150, so not bad at all for its age. Engine management light is on, so do be wary of that. Um, again, you've got the screen here. Everything functions fine, air conditioning. Uh, might need a regas, but the blows work. You've got heated seats, auto box, sunroof. As you can see, works perfectly fine there. Uh, again, service streets, all invoices. Uh, we've got one in the book here, that's at 52,000 miles, all the rest are invoices, and the V5, you're looking at three owners, again, not bad at all, lovely looking car.